Mr. Lloyd, you are in court today to prove that you are the biological father of the defendant's one-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Courtney Marie Grimes. You claim the defendant led you to believe that you were the father only to have a bomb dropped on you that another man was her dad. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Rayleigh, you say you are 100% sure that Mr. Lloyd is not Courtney's biological father and you will prove your case in court today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Well, we'll meet that other man in just a moment, but first, let's start from the beginning. I want to understand the nature of this relationship. So, you, you were in a relationship with somebody else when you met Mr. Lloyd or were you in a relationship with Mr. Lloyd and met somebody else? I had just recently got out of a relationship when I had met Mr. Lloyd. Uh, of course, I was ending my last relationship with, Ms. with the other party. All right, so then you had finished the other relationship or you were still kind of seeing this other guy? We had, like, just ended. It wasn't even a, a month apart or a week apart that me and him had ended. And we had started getting intimate right there. All right, so, Mr. Lloyd, at the time you were dating Ms. Rayleigh, did you feel like you were all... were in an exclusive relationship? At the time, I didn't. You know, as... It, yeah, as it prolonged, I did start catching feelings for her. Actually, we moved together afterward. We moved you did? In. We moved in together. So, you moved in together? Yes. When she tells you she's pregnant, she comes to you and says what exactly? We was actually sitting in her room, actually. We was talking. She started crying, said she was pregnant. I was excited, you know, this is my first child. So I was excited and I was willing to take up the responsibility to be in Courtney Grimes' life. I already had doubts. I knew of this guy, you know what I'm saying? So I already had doubts, doubts about it. So the third month, I take her, her mom out to eat and we, we just nipped it in the bud like, this your baby. It's like, was she like three, four months pregnant? Do you remember this dinner meeting, Ms. Rayleigh? Yes, yes, Your Honor. And you all cleared the air and told Mr. Lloyd, there's no doubt you are the father? Yes, Your Honor. So why is it all of a sudden, Three months, two months before the baby's born, you tell him he's not the father. Well, Your Honor, I was nine weeks pregnant when I found out I was pregnant. That's when the doubting and everything started. I said, well, nine weeks ago, I wasn't with Mr. Lloyd at all. I was with Mr. Grimes. It was around Super Bowl, which was in February the 2nd, is the day that they trying to say I was conceiving between the 2nd and, I believe, the 6th. And I wasn't around Mr. Lloyd at the time that they had gave me my Stephen date. Excuse me, um, um, we was dating around the Super Bowl too. You know what I'm saying? We was dating. So how far along into the pregnancy did she tell you that you're not the father? It was like, like the last four months. But the seven, eight months, I left. I said, I'm done with it. Right, this is not my baby. I moved to Indiana. I just stayed down there for like a month, two. I get a phone call and she like, I have doubts. I don't, I don't think Courtney, I think the baby was even born actually. She was like, um, I don't see it in Curtis. A mother knows her, her baby, a mother knows. As she told me, that's what made me come back and try to continue on to be there for my daughter. So when the baby was born, Ms. Rayleigh, who was present? Um, Mr. Grimes was. Oh, because... Oh, excuse me. She didn't even tell me that he was present when he was born. She, from my knowledge, wasn't well, yeah, nobody I there but the mother. He didn't need to be there if he's not the dad. So that's why Mr. Grimes... But what... Yeah. The, the dots I'm trying to connect are when you told him he was the father, he accepted he was the father, but you say that this window between Mr. Grimes and Mr. Lloyd is only a span of two to three weeks anyway, right? Three weeks. Three weeks. Or four. Yeah, three to four weeks. I didn't even know the baby got born. I had to find out off of Facebook. Mm. How old was Courtney when you first met her? Did you ever get to see her? Um, yes, I think I, I seen her, I think like the, the second or third week she was out the hospital. She let me see Courtney Grimes whenever I wanted to. She had given him his chance and still give me my chance too. But wait, you, she gave the baby Mr. Grimes' his last name. Yes, yeah. She gave him his last name. Actually, I'm the one who gave came up with the name Courtney Marie. Actually, Mr. Grimes came up with the name. So wait, and... you sleeping with two different guys, but they both picked the same name. How awkward that sound. It, it... They both said Courtney. That's what we think is a good name. Yep. Way too much synergy here. <laughs> Actually, I think she did already have... She already had the baby. Me and Curtis Grimes had came to a conclusion and actually met up on Facebook. 
and was trying to find out because she was still playing that it was my baby and still playing his baby. So we met up. Actually, we y'all, drove they up pulled to up the... on me. I was like, okay, so both of them asked me in the car together. They in the car together. I'm with another friend who's the daddy, Chantel. So I said, okay, Curtis, you're the sperm donor, and Mr. Lloyd is the one who will be there for her, you know? And I, that, at the time, that's what the situation was. So wait was. a minute. The two potential fathers get together. You all get together. Yeah, just And correct. decide y'all gonna do a sting operation. <laughs> correct. You yeah. all gonna yeah. track down Miss Rayleigh. Yeah. And you all gonna get down to the bottom of which one of us is this father. Because you feel like stop. she's playing both of you. And you say, Ms. Rayleigh, you were clear. You said, I Mr. Grimes... I Basically, you said you the biological father and you told Mr. Lloyd, but you are basically the daddy. Because we say in this courtroom, it takes DNA to be a father, but it takes love to be a daddy. So Correct, you say Mr. Honor. Lloyd stepped up to be the he, daddy. He, he be there for Courtney no matter what. He's always there. He's a good dad to her. So now you're here because you want Mr. Lloyd to know for certain that he's not the biological father. Correct, Your Honor. We, okay. we here, we here to find out because she don't know 100%. That's why we're here. All right, Jerome, I want to talk to uh, Mr. Grimes. He's joining us from his hometown. Mr. Grimes, do you believe she's your biological child? I'm gonna say yes. Then I got some doubts too though at the same time. So you have doubts. Tell the court why you have doubts. Since Antia been pregnant, she's been playing both sides. One minute Corey the daddy, next minute I'm the daddy. Corey about to spend some money on the baby, he the daddy. Like, we both still seeing her to this day, you know? So... You both still seeing her? We both still seeing Courtney. I mean, he... He go... He been to Memphis more than me. I have been to Memphis one time, he been down there three, four times. <laughs> but Shantia not telling me that. <laughs> So you saying this is supposedly your biological child with your last name, but this other man has been to see the child more than you? Man, I I'm talking about, I got my whole family calling me like, why is it another man with your daughter on this page talking about daddy's baby? Like I said, I got doubts. I mean, she, she look like, she look like him, she look like, she got my nose, she look like both of us, you ask me, but that's what I said. <laughs> both of us are on her mama, you know? I slept with both of so. y'all, both of y'all get on my nerves. <laughs> Who's paying child support to help support this baby? Neither one. I can't pay child support if I'm not on a birth certificate. Ain't Let me tell you, you can still... Certificate. You don't have to but pay I child still, support. I still come out of pocket whatever, when, I, when I want to. Support is... It, it can be, of course, done through the state, but it also can just be done personally between the parents. I mean, I tell people, handle it through the living room so you don't have to handle it through the courtroom. So have you helped with this child? Yes, Your Honor. You have. Mr. Grimes, she has your last name. Have you been helping to support Courtney since she's been born? Man, I'm gonna tell you like I told Shantia. I told Shantia when Corey, Mr. Lloyd, get out of her life, I told her, give me blood, I give her baby love, basically. I'm tired of her playing both sides. I got six other kids that I got to worry about. She's not finna keep playing yeah, with this kid. Eight. If Courtney minds, Courtney makes seven. How old are you, Mr. Grimes? 23. We just had a baby. We just had a baby together. That's the eighth one. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Now you all, uh-uh. No, 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 no. Now you all know. This, how many kids you have, Mr. Lloyd? This be my first child. You know what I'm saying? And, um... I actually, I actually, I actually went and begged for my job back so I can support my daughter. This would be your first child? Yes, Your Honor. So this matters to you? Yes, Your Honor. But Ms. Rayleigh is, has maintained consistently throughout this hearing that you are not Courtney's biological father. But that still does not sway right. you because you feel like you are. It doesn't sway me because I was already persuaded of that that was my baby. A mother, after, no. Court, after Courtney was born, did, did you, you call him back, Miss Rayleigh, and yeah. say the baby doesn't look Your like Honor, Mr. Grimes? I never said that she doesn't look like him because I see it all the way. But, oh, she got pretty hair. That's my baby. I said, wait. Nah, don't say I got no hair. I got some good Oh, hair. my God. I'm Help me, saying, Lord. I got it some ain't Your Honor. about that. Hold on it now. Was... Wait, wait, wait. I'm not... Uh, hold on. I can't let you say something that ignorant. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. We can't say that. Yeah. We can't say that. Nappy hair. No, we're not even gonna say that. <laughs> because the truth is, as a, a, as a people, I th honestly, you gotta take that out your vocabulary. <laughs> and we 
we can go one level deeper. The reason why this courtroom exists is to help ensure that children don't have to go without their father. So this ain't no joke to me. So don't come in here with no racial nonsense talking about baby's hair because every piece of that child is beautiful yeah. and innocent. <laughs> Honestly. And, and, and whether her hair is fine or coarse or whatever it is, it is individually and uniquely hers. Given to her by God and he don't make mistakes. So we're going to correct that right now. I don't want to ever hear you say that again. Um, Your Honor, can I say something? I hope it's intelligent. It is. It's very, it's very intelligent. <laughs> um, what gives me the reason that she is mine, is my mom tell me when I was little, when she used to change my diaper, I used to do this diaper dance. Okay. I used to be excited. <laughs> Courtney does the same thing when you change her diaper. And um, I have a birthmark on my life, on my left side of my forehead as well as Courtney. That gave me a strong doubt that it is mine. So you strong feel break. like you... Listen, you feel like you have now, for 18 months, you've made trips to see this baby, you've That's spent right. time with this beautiful little girl, and you look at her and you feel like there are similarities that confirm your belief that she's yours. Yes, Your Honor. This would be your first child. Yes, Your Honor. So this matters to you. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> so, Ms. Rayleigh, you're saying you are certain that Mr. Grimes is her biological father? Yes, sir. Or are you saying that you have an, a younger child together as well, so you just believe? Yes, Your Honor. I don't know. I'll be back for that one, too, to be honest with you. And it's my first time hearing that one also. You have a doubt about the subsequent child as well, the paternity? Yes, ma'am. And that's what makes me upset about this whole situation, because they be trying to play me like... I'm just this bad person, this bad mother, and this bad, just bad, and I'm not. I had conversations way before I even turned seven months that he's not the father. I never told him that he wasn't the father at all. And to hear him say this in court today, he would never, ever speak to me again unless it's about our children, and that's it. It's no more going back and forth, because I have been going back and forth with these two for too long, and it's time for it to end. Either I'm going to be one of them or neither one of them, and I want it to come out today, because I'm done with it. Absolutely done. I just want the truth to Keep be your gone. legs closed, you won't go through this. If you keep your penis in your pants, you won't have this problem either. Lord, Lord, Lord. You're right, but that's why I don't think she minds, to be honest with you. Well, listen. DNA would tell it all. Listen, listen. Everybody in here has a part to play in this. Because none of you protected yourselves. Y'all run around here having too many babies like you baby factories. I mean, Detroit is a factory town, but this is not the type. <laughs> He's a factory his own self. Hold on. I'm from Detroit. I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> Jerome, I'm ready for the result. Let, let's get the answer to this, because we got to figure out how we going to move forward. Amen. Y'all, 25, 25, 23. So, Mr. Lloyd, I just want to know from you. If... This is your biological child. Do you want to have a relationship with Ms. Rayleigh? If, if Courtney was mine, I'm going to go down there and be a full-time parent with my daughter and support her through the whole nine yards. And if she is not? Then I go on with my life. <laughs> go on my life. The results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Lloyd versus Rayleigh, pertaining to whether Mr. Grimes or Mr. Lloyd is the father of one-year-old Courtney Rayleigh Grimes, it has been determined by this court the biological father is Mr. Lloyd. y'all. Congratulations. But you're done. I knew it from the start. You're done, bro. Mr. Green. Yes, ma'am. You That's claim me. your rights as a potential father to the child in question today, two-year-old Angel Bryant, were basically stolen from you. Yes, Your Honor. You say at 56 years old, 
and having never fathered a child previously, you've had doubts about paternity from the beginning. Yes, Your Honor. Yet you maintain you still assume financial responsibility for Angel just in case she's indeed yours. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Duncan. Yes, Your Honor. You admit to sleeping with another man while with Mr. Green, but say you're still positive he is Angel's father because the other man used protection. Furthermore, you contend that Mr. Green is not solely supporting the child. In fact, you admit that both men are currently paying child support. <laughs> Mr. Green, how did you meet Ms. Duncan? How did I meet her? Well, it was New Year's night. She was out, I was out, of course. I saw her staggering a little bit, walking home alone from the club. <laughs> I took her home, and then we just talked for a little bit, exchanged numbers. Then shortly thereafter, you guys began dating? I don't have sex, I'm not a sexually active person. We did not sleep together, and this was three, about three months later. So we first had sex around May, just like you say May. So you all waited, which is good, got to know one another, and then you had a sexual relationship. That's correct. So now, was this a committed relationship? Ms. Duncan, did you tell him that you were in a relationship with somebody else at the time? He knew I was talking to someone, but I told him we broke up, but I was still talking to him. Oh. All right, so, so you, you, you basically lied and told him you weren't talking to the guy anymore, but you were. Yes. And you weren't just talking to him? No. You were still having sex with him, too? Yes. See, I didn't All know right. that. I didn't know nothing about a relationship. So you thought she was single when you met her? Yes, Your Honor. So what happened when you discovered you were pregnant? I got sick. I was eating buffalo wings, and I was start hurting in my right side real bad. They took me to the emergency room, and they told me that I had gallstones and also Congratulations, you're nine and a half weeks pregnant. Really? So I called Mr. Green. You did? Yes. He was the first person you called? Yes. And so what was your reaction? Were you happy? I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> I was in shock. You were 54 years old. Yes. You never yes, had yes, another child. No, Your Honor. So you were in a bit of a shock. That's why I was in shock. But see, that's one reason why I brought her to court today, because I want the truth to come out. We're going to shame the devil and the truth coming out today. So when you told him you were pregnant, he says he was shocked. How did that come across to you through the phone? Did you feel like he didn't care, or did he sound happy? Yes, I felt that he didn't care. So did you tell the other guy you were pregnant, too? I haven't seen the other guy, like, until after I got out of the hospital. Okay. Your Honor, I figured that if I'm supposed to be the child's father, I would have been there at the time of birth. And also, my name would be on the birth certificate, Your Honor. And so that's not the case? No. And in fact, while she was pregnant, I was informed that she would call me. I said, well, call me when you get ready to have the child so I can be there at birth. I would like to cut the cord. I said, she's gonna call me. I'm not worrying about it. That didn't happen. And yeah. she never called? Never received the call. No, Your Honor, that's and a I, lie. I had a dream that a child was being born. And I called the emergency room. Sure enough, they told me that Miss Duncan was in the emergency room. Your Honor, he wasn't nowhere around me. During my pregnancy, this other guy, he stepped up and he was with me through my whole pregnancy. So that's a lie, no, Your Honor, that's a lie. I was there, but not there like you want me to be. You wasn't nowhere around, no doctor appointments, no nothing. Okay, I made a mistake, I was with the other guy, but he stepped up to the plate and he took care of her. That part is true, but I told you I had around. a thing about you hospitals. You I'm was not nowhere going. around. So, Mr. Green, at what point did you find out there was another man in the picture? I'm getting to that right now, Your Honor. Okay. It was like six or seven months down the road after doing her pregnancy. Then she told me, she said, well, the baby may not be yours. Oh. That's after six or seven months. Of pregnancy or yes. when the baby was born? Six or seven months during pregnancy. All right. And that's why I found out the baby may be who she said it may be. So how did you break that news, Miss Duncan? I've been told him that. You know I had a... a no, you a, didn't. Yes, I did. You told me about six or seven months after you was pregnant. You said the baby may not be yours. It may be you know who. So I took that kind of hard. You said he was using protection, but it broke. Yes, I That's told just you that. I told words. you that I was, what, okay, three well, months pregnant? You told me that, six, Now you're gonna months. tell I'm six and seven you months? You were about to have the baby almost no, about four no. more months to go. Oh. So, Mr. Green, when you say you know who, 
Did you ever meet this other guy? Not too afterwards. And what happened when you saw him? I don't know if it was a birthday or Mother's Day. Okay, I took her home and he was outside waiting for her. And that kind of hurt. And he said, I come to see my daughter, my daughter. I said, that's your daughter, that's my daughter. Aww. And that's what, like embarrassing, you know. He was already there waiting for her to come home. Aww. Really? And so you out as a family and then come home and some other man is talking about he's coming to pick up your family. Yes, Your Honor. Oh. I even questioned him. I said, if you know the child's not yours, why would you sign the birth certificate knowing the child is not yours? And I had no comment. He didn't answer. Did you know he was going to come pick you up after Mr. Green dropped you off? No, Did Your you Honor. have two dates in a row planned? No, Your Honor. So why was he just sitting up there? He probably just came by. I didn't know he was coming by. Mm. I didn't. Did you ask him if he thought he was I didn't the baby's see, really, father? I really didn't see him until after the child was born. When did you come see the child? Well, how old she was? Two, three months? About one month. And the other guy was there for me. He was right there for me. That doesn't mean to take, uh, give a child another man's name if he's the not the father. The way you was abandoning me, I felt you didn't want no child, and the man... Well, you could've left it blank. If your heart, if you know who the dad is, you could've left that birth certificate blank until you get a blood test. <laughs> then let it be signed. Well, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Everybody make mistakes. Okay? Like you playing me, and you playing him. You get what you can I'm get from him. I'm not playing with him. You get what you can get from me. No, oh no. So you wasn't really giving me nothing. I know that. So how I'm playing you? How would you, you feel if I do the same thing to you? If I was how vice versa? I was playing you. How was I was playing you, Mr. Green? How? How? Every time the baby needs shoes, the baby needs pampers, the baby needs this. Your daughter needs this. Your... How do I know it's my daughter? Okay. Miss Duncan. Yes, Your Honor. You just said for the first month he was not around, but the other guy was? The other guy was around all the way through my pregnancy. Really? Yes. Was he at the birth too? Yes. So while he was sitting around waiting for the phone to ring, I called him the and other he guy didn't answer. He, uh, oh, so hold I... on now. If the other guy was there, you called him and he didn't answer? Did you already... You gonna have them both there? I called him. No. No, Your Honor, no. So after he didn't answer, then you called the other guy? Yes. So that guy was up there and the baby was born. You put his name on the birth certificate. Yes, I have evidence. I'd like to see that. Jerome? So this is you in the hospital with your beautiful new baby? Yes, Your Honor. And the other gentleman with you? Yes, Your Honor. And so you decided just to put his name on the birth certificate? Yes, Your Honor. I was messing with both of them. There's a possibility he could be the father as well. Well, you did make a decision because, as Mr. Green said, you could have just said there are two possible fathers. I'm going to leave it blank until I have a DNA test. Thank you. You're right, there it Your is. Honor. Now Angel's two years old. Who does she regard as daddy? This guy? No, Your Honor. No. She just said his name. She called Mr. Green her daddy. So, Mr. Green, after being denied the opportunity to be at the birth, you now have established a relationship with the child so much so that she calls you daddy. Yes, Your Honor. And you provide for her. I do what I can do when I can, which, and that's why I want to step up to the plate and do more because I don't want the child to grow up without the father. And I can see that it breaks both of you apart. Both of you are in tears right now. And is that because you feel like your mistakes have negatively affected this child or you feel like you've had to hold back from her because you're so uncertain? I feel that I'm getting too attached to the child. I love her and I can't get a, all the love that the father should give his daughter. That's keeping me from doing what I'm supposed to do as a father. And Ms. Duncan, you understand that it's your mistakes that cost your child that opportunity? Yes, Your Honor. So, the other gentleman, is he supporting her as well? He was. I haven't seen him in like three to four months. But up until about three or four months ago, he was providing for her? Yes. In what way? He, like, bring me, like, 200 or 300 a month. So he would give money And we'd for take her. the baby shopping. 
And he get her clothes. Yes. And he helped me pay for her daycare as well. Then he just disappeared? I don't know where he at. But she didn't call him daddy? No. But she knew who he was? Yes. Did he believe he could be her biological father? Yes, Your Honor. He did? Oh. Wow. So, Ms. Duncan, when you look at Angel, which one of these men do you see? Mr. Green. You do? You think she looks like Mr. Green? Yes, Your Honor. How about you, Mr. Green? A lot of times she looks like me, and then sometimes she don't. It all depends on the picture. You submitted a baby picture of yourself. Oh. Now, this is a baby picture of you and then a baby picture of Angel. Do you see a resemblance? Not exactly on that picture. Not on that one? Any resemblance now? Do you think she looks like you right now? Uh, not really. I say around the cheekbones. Just the cheekbones? Do you see a resemblance, ma'am, Miss Duncan? Yes, Your Honor. So now you've established this relationship? Yes, Your Honor. She calls you daddy? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, she does. And yet, with all of this, you still never knew if you're truly her biological father. No, Your Honor. So now you're thinking about a young life, a young child, a young girl you're responsible for. You're thinking about her future. Yes, Your Honor. That's why I want to get this thing straight and get everything. If I am the father, that child shouldn't be suffering like that. But I'm being a vet, the child is entitled to benefits. Yes. And... If I'm the father, that child has been cheated out of two and a half years of benefits that she's entitled to, and she wouldn't be living in the conditions that she's living if her name was on the birth certificate as green. And plus, she would be able to go to school, college for free. Once she finished um, regular school and high school, she has the opportunity for the government to send her to school free. So, first off, thank you for your service. And so, in other words, this beautiful young girl really has no idea that she's missing out on a lot of opportunity, care, and provisions. And you want to make sure she is taken care of. Yes, Your Honor. But without legally being named her father, she's not entitled to these things. That's right, Your Honor. Miss yes. Duncan. Yes, Your Honor. The other man whose name's on the birth certificate, if you could locate him, does he have the means to care for your daughter the way Mr. Green does? No, Your Honor. No. Wow. Okay, the stakes are really high. I will say this. Jerome, we see a lot in this courtroom. Men who accuse women of putting the man's name on the birth certificate that they feel is most qualified to take care of the child, regardless of the thing. In my opinion, Ms. Duncan, I have to say it lends credibility to your testimony that his shock translated as rejection to you. And you went ahead and put this other man's name on the birth certificate because you felt like he didn't want to be bothered. Because, truthfully, as you stated so clearly, this is the better man to take care of a child. That's what I really want for her to be his And daughter. that's a shame. That's the power of communication. If you just could have had a conversation. All right, Jerome. Let's get the results. Oh, what a shame. If anyone would like to take a seat, we know these results can be emotional. Please feel free. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Duncan versus Green, when it comes to the paternity of two-year-old Angel Bryant, Mr. Ronald Green, you, in the case of Duncan versus Green, when it comes to the paternity of two-year-old Angel Bryant, Mr. Ronald Green, you, are not her father. Oh. I'm so sorry. Mostly sorry for Angel. Miss Duncan, are we certain it is the other gentleman? 
is uh, no other possibility. No, Your Honor. And you have no idea where he is. No, Your Honor. <sighs> it's gonna work out. Things happen. That's the way it is. It yes. is what it is. <sighs> they most certainly do. We make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, sometimes our children pay for our mistakes. Yes, Your Honor. But if you can find a place in your heart, Mr. Green, for Angel, play a role in her life, whatever it may be, I think that would be wonderful. Okay. I wish you all the very best of luck and take care of your beautiful little girl. Thank you. Court is adjourned. Ms. Haysbird, you are suing the father of your six-month-old son for a paternity test. You yes. claim the defendant, Mr. Howard, has never financially supported baby Ricardo Jr. Yes. You also state that he once led you to believe that he wanted to marry you and even asked you to have his baby. Yes. But once you were actually pregnant, you say he abandoned you and has since fathered another baby who mm -hmm. is only two weeks older than your child. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Howard, you argue that Ms. Haysbert told you that Ricardo Jr. was not your son and therefore is not your responsibility. Yes. You are countersuing for $1,000 in damages for a ring Ms. Howard pawned that was given to you by your late grandmother. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Ms. Haysbert, please tell me how your relationship began. I met this clown at the Washington <laughs> Redskins Stadium on when we used now, to work hold together. Hold on one second. Let's use respectful language. We were co-workers, and then after that, we became friends. Like, okay. we used to chill with each other outside of work. It was to the point, like, when something was wrong, he came to me. After that, you know, we started having sex, and we got what? drunk. <laughs> and so, yeah, we got drunk and had sex, and that's how I could see my son. I drunk and had sex. After so. that, like, I knew he had a girlfriend, and, you know, I didn't mind because we were just friends. Then it came to the point where he told me, because that when she was pregnant, when, you know, we first started hanging out, and she had a miscarriage. So he I told, told me that... I told you I had a girlfriend. You so knew I had Keon, a girlfriend. Look, Keona, you, know you told you me what your girlfriend. You know what you wanted. Anyway, Keona was the girlfriend, and then he told me they broke up. So he was saying how he wanted to marry me, how he wanted me to have his marry son. you. So he didn't mind. He wanted to be in the relationship. This girl is crazy. So once I got pregnant, and I told him I was pregnant. He acted like he won the lottery. He was so excited. Uh, oh, Junior. Oh, I can't wait for you to have my son. He was what? so excited. Where the money then at? Soon, Where's the money soon, at if I won the lottery? As soon as my fifth or sixth month of pregnancy, he wanted to change up the tables. He wasn't there. He didn't even come to the doctor's appointment. At about six girl, months. She's alive. Yes, and that's when the girlfriend started calling my phone, telling me, oh, they're still together, that he never oh, broke up with her, that he was uh, that he lied, basically. I can't that she lived she with him. Court. That they live together. So I was like, okay, well, he's I telling me y'all been broke up. I can't believe that you're lying in court. I can't believe that you're lying in court. She when she called me, she asked me, oh, when do we start dating? And we were pregnant around the same time. So she was really? asking, oh, yes, pregnant around the same time. Her, his daughter was born now, December twenty seventh. This is a good moment that I think I want to hear from Mister Howard. Now. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> yes. Because I have to say something. Yes. You know. I, I want to know. Did you get two girls pregnant at the same time? Yes, I did, Your Honor. But, but, I didn't mean to. <laughs> he didn't mean to. That's the only thing I can really mean say. To. But it he happened. Didn't mean but to. at the same time, he didn't mean to. she did. She did he call me a clown. I won't respect your court. But she looking like one, like but for she, real. But she met. Let's be respectful. I am being respectful, because but she, the, she can't you talk. Know, that's what you're saying. <laughs> you are making commentary about is yourself because you exactly. just admitted that you slept with her. So it was obviously mm. something about you your wanted this. Life. So what are you saying? I ain't put no gun in your head. I ain't put no gun in your head. You found out she was pregnant. Yes. When? How? Did she, she told you? She called you? Yeah. She said, "I'm pregnant." I said, no. "Oh, you is?" I said, "Damn." So I said, uh, I said, Mr. Howard, you in the court. I apologize, man. I was like, oh, you pregnant? Okay. And she was like, 
Well, what you gonna do? I said, I'm a man up. I'm, I'm, I'm a man about mine. That's, that's, I'm gonna take care of it. I don't, I don't know why she lying in court, but she knows that I'm a good guy. Yeah, I didn't okay. try to do all types of things. I didn't try to take care of my son and ask no, for a DNA didn't. test. No, he didn't. She didn't want to give me a DNA test. Okay. I didn't. So now I'm trying to understand your point. She told you she was pregnant. Yes. You said, if it's mine, I'm going to man up. Yes. But at some point, you said to yourself, this is important that I get a DNA test. Yes. Because you don't feel like you two were in a committed relationship when this happened. You felt like this could potentially be someone else's child she as well. She was bouncing around. I wasn't Beltor. I was only with you. That's you. You were sleeping with me and Kiana at the same time. You had to lie and say that you weren't with her in order for you lie. to even talk to me. Yes, you lied. Why did I have to you lie? told me that you weren't with her anymore. I but yet she was nothing. calling your phone, blowing up your phone. You said, I'm only going to be there for the baby. That's why I'm talking to her for the baby. You told me that your daughter wasn't yours because she was sleeping let, around on let, you. Let, you I told me you didn't even know if the daughter oh was yours, God. but now you're claiming her. You do more for her what than you, you do for my, my daughter son. just like me. What are you talking about? So let what? Me, she look, mm, I would okay. deal with a lot of stuff with yes. this female, Your Honor. And all, this is all I hear. Because you're not doing anything. You're going to keep hearing it. If I'm not doing anything, then you won't have to. I try to back plan Let's get some order. Now, we're going to hear from uh, Ms. Lynch in a moment. That's Kiana. We're going to hear from her in a moment. Ms. Habert, Mr. Howard contends that once you told him you were pregnant, he asked you for a DNA test. No, he didn't. He was happy because when I found out I was pregnant, first I took a home pregnancy test. Okay. And I sent him the picture of the results. Oh. After that... And you say he was happy about yes. it? Yes. She said, like, He came lottery. over my house. She he said, was, like, he used lottery. to rub my belly and tell my son, and while he was in my stomach, oh, I will never leave you. I will always take care of you. I'm always be here for you. But he's lying because he hasn't been there at all. You crazy. I've been buying this stuff, and you've been pushing nothing but First stuff First of all, away. you gave my son hand-me-downs. Do you think he about to wear What's that? a hand-me-down? I bought my son stuff. I've you been got buying him stuff. Why would I give you my son hand-me-downs? You crazy. You bought him hand-me-downs. She crazy, the just. So, the clothes I would never buy my son no hand-me-downs. after he says that he would step up to the plate, you're saying he actually denied your son. He did. He want to play around since he want to act like he my dad. Tell him some, let's go get Dana. Let's go to the clinic to see who the baby is. Dana. And let me tell you, he, like, he don't, he, didn't, he said that he never told me he loved me want a relationship. Here you go right here, Yana. He told me he loved me. He don't want to lose me. Jerome, hand me that? So, you know. So what is that you have in your hand? How he was telling me how I'm his life. You know, his when life. we was together, he said he loved me. He used to always say, till death do us part when he gave me that ring. That's because I was, uh, 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 I didn't give you nothing. You stole you it. Said, you stole, stole it. it. You stole it. You was a liar. You was a liar up in this courtroom. Whatever, that's all you're doing is lying in this courtroom. Order in the court. Now, are these the kind of text messages you send to women that are just your friend? Oh, Love you, babe. Kiss my son for me. Kiss my son for me. You're acknowledging him. For, how are you going to deny him, then acknowledge him? What? Thank you very much. OK, since we got so much about my son, since you're trying to make it seem like I'm just a bad like, guy why do and I have all to this catch stuff, the bus you if see, you have a car. Won't you see, he was in the hospital. Won't you see the text message that she wrote me said that my son was dead? What about that? Since you want to bust out, talk about I love you and I want you. Girl, please. Hey, let's get back. Like I was saying, Vanessa, can you uh, please get this to the, uh, your honor, please? I got to know what in the world you're talking about. She said she want to show stuff about text messages, which that's probably been a brick ago, but she's, somebody sent me a text message, which I knew it was her. She tried to make it seem like it was somebody else, but it wasn't, because she plays Why a lot of games. You that and she said that my son was fun. dead. Hmm. These text messages do indicate that somebody was texting about a baby passing away. Your Honor, they don't have anything to do she with that. No, 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 no. I don't know I'm anything asking about you, that. What do you know about that? I don't know anything about that. Kiana she called me hard. the next day saying, oh, Ricardo wants to know if his son is dead. And I let her know if something wants to happen to my son, I would not let him know for the simple fact he's not there for him. He has no right to know what goes on in my son's life. But you my just said son. that I want I'll you. Take him you him said that I want you. Mine. You're not Let's doing nothing. What is you really doing? Let's get some order. I almost. Can't believe I have to do this, but I need to bring in and hear from Ms. Lynch. As if the courtroom was not already in an uproar. And bring her in, because she's going to tell you. Uh-uh. Uh, Let the slut tell me. it like it is. Mr. Howard. Let the slut Mr. Howard. tell it like it is. He has no respect for her Jerome, anyway. please I would not escort Ms. Lynch into the courtroom. Your baby mother, dummy. Oh, you know. You know her name. You honor this girl is a liar okay. because if she didn't have respect for me, she would have respect for her. Were you guys on a break? 
or were you together? Explain to the court what is going on. Yes, we have broke up one time, but when we broke up, it was a week, so I really don't call that as a broke up. For one, she knew we was in a relationship. She knew that. For them to get drunk, she don't have respect for herself to sleep with somebody else's man. And Mr. Howard, during that time, you were with Ms. Lynch, but you were also with Ms. Haber. Yes. So, Ms. Haysbert was your best friend. Best friend, sla side chick. I'm never nobody's side chick, sweetheart. <laughs> you were sleeping with both women, is the bottom line. He think yes. he baby boy, Yana. And what? at a certain point, you Dreaming? two women were pregnant at the same time. Yes. You're denying Ricardo Jr. is your child, or yes. you have doubts. Yes, because she told me one time when she was pregnant that I wasn't the father. She done told me that you ain't nothing, like she say, a sperm donor and all this. I done tried everything with this girl. I done tried to pull no, my heart out this girl. No, I done gave my son since you say hand me that when they was brand, when they was brand new and all this. I she put up with all of this stuff. I put up son. all this stuff with her because of her mouth. It was times when, when he first told me, like in the beginning, he told me, he said, he gonna come live with us, da 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 da, -da. I'm like, okay, cool, what's yours? But we I respect that. If he, your, if he your son, I'm your woman, that's my son too. I'm not gonna do Please. anything to her. Not ever. Child. Not that's ever. Just me. I'm a woman. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be a woman about math. I'm strong, I got faith, that's just how I am. So it was times when he came to the hospital, we got him clothes because she didn't have no clothes for he him. He had clothes. He you got him hand me down. Him. No. I, we you gave him hand me down. That's why he didn't even wear a blanket. She, yeah, she brought him out the hospital with a blanket. January he had the outfit hell. on. Where well, you staying? Well, he had an outfit. Well, outfit. Let's get some order. You talking about the diaper? Mm -hmm. That's Let's what you talking about? Let's get some order. Let's get some order. Mm -hmm. So, Ms. Haysbert, yes. is part of your anger and your inability to just give Mr. Howard any benefit of the doubt is because you feel lied to on every level. Yes. Meaning, from the beginning. You yes. thought they were broken up, you, you were friends, and the next thing you know, you sleeping with them, but you find out they're really still together. Then once they're still together, both you all pregnant at the same time, he's paying attention to her when she's pregnant and not paying any attention to and you. And she calls my phone, asking true. me, are you and Ricardo still messing around? She told me, I check his voicemail, text messages. You do too much, sweetheart. You all she do much. is harass me all day, every day. She texts me. Where my ring at? Where my ring at? It's gone. The, the, You're not getting back. Speaking of the ring, I'm glad. For once, you brought up something I want to talk about, Mr. Um, she Howard. got a motor mouth. The ring that you are countersuing for the value of $1,000, your yes. grandmother's ring. Yes. You say that Ms. Haysbert pawned. But you just why the smirk? Because I how, did. That's what I deal with. She what was your understanding? Was it your understanding that the ring was yours? It was pawned? because he gave it to me because he said he wanted to marry me. Nothing. So therefore, therefore, I, you I pawned it. It was in my wife's pawned you it. My Ms. grandmother gave me that ring. You probably lied about that. You were you lied about that. I would never lie about my you grandmother. She in the grave. You're a liar. She gave me that ring. You tripping? You're a liar. You're a tripping. Look at her. Look at her. The lying that you're talking about is what. What what is the lie about the ring? I don't to his grandmother for the simple fact that's the same ring he gave to Kiana first and then he gave it to me. You gave it to Ms. Lynch, mm -hmm. and Ms. Lynch, you you accept. I gave it back. You gave it back to Yes, him. when I found out about this chick. Right. Now, Mr. Howard, you then go and give it to Ms. Haysbert? I didn't give it to her. We was doing something at the time, and we was you know, not. We she conversated. Like she conversated about man, ring. And you I gave me the ring. Her. She's talking to me, boo boo. She's talking to him. I kept asking, "Can I get my ring back? Can I get my?" No, we ain't doing this. Well, I left it at home. Oh, my she daughter wearing my room it? and all this. She confident. So you're you're saying that she no, basically me. stole she your stole ring. It. Look at it. Look how she act. Look, <laughs> she's smiling. It's a joke to her. Life is a big joke to her. What the court really believes happened is when she gave you the ring back, you had an attitude. That hurt you because you wanted to be with her and not Miss Haysbert. But Miss Haysbert was your plan B. So then you went over there and found yourself, as you say, we was doing something. And as it relates to this evidence here, it sounds like you were doing a lot of I love you and I love you too. That's what you were doing. So why is it that Miss Haysbert would not think that that ring was given to her? on the basis of love and a relationship or even in anticipation of marriage, if you're telling her you love her. And once you give a gift, Mr. Howard, it's not revocable. You can't take it back unless she voluntarily gives it back. So she I did didn't... have the right to I did not give her no ring. That's crazy. Judgment for the plaintiff in that. Moving on to the DNA.
Now, we're first going to get the results of Ms. Lynch's child. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics in the case of Haysbert versus Howard. Pertaining to six-month-old London Howard, Mr. Howard, you are the father. We know. That bra, I, I don't see what everybody like that bra I do. We're now gonna hear the next results. So, Ms. Lynch, now that you know that your child was fathered by Mr. Howard, how are you going to handle if, in fact, Ms. Haysbert's child was fathered by him as well? We're gonna move forward. I'm gonna continue to be with him. I'm gonna we're gonna continue to have faith grow. We're gonna build our relationship, and yeah, we're gonna move forward. He's gonna take care of his son <laughs> like he no, was trying not. to do in the beginning when she uh -huh. was not allowing him to. So, yeah. And you're willing to encourage him I, on that I level. I accept him. Yes, I do. In the case of Haysbert versus Howard, pertaining to six-month-old Ricardo Howard Jr. Mr. Howard, you. In the case of Haysbert versus Howard, pertaining to six-month-old Ricardo Howard Jr. Mr. Howard, you are his father. <laughs> To death do us pop, bro. Right, so be it a man. is what it is. I'm be Don't a man. call my phone. Don't have that little witch over there call my phone. Don't text my phone. You will never see him. I'm never. Miss Haysbert, throughout this entire case, I have watched you wear the hurt on your sleeve. All this pouncing around and bouncing that hair <laughs> and acting crazy. You know, I almost allowed you to do it more than I would in any other circumstance because a part of me feels for you. You know, you're living that typical homegirl life. The guy is with another girl, but he got a homegirl. And the line is too blurred between friendship and more than friendship. I don't know why. I don't know who hurt you in your past. I don't know what bad relationships you've been in or where you were in your life to where you fell for that okie doke. But you did. You were. And now you have a child because of it. You don't get along, fine. But you don't keep that child away from his father. Ricardo Jr., right? So I'm gonna name you after a man I'm not gonna even let you see. Stop the nonsense. Are we clear? Yeah. You've learned your lesson, am I no, correct? I did, yes. And you need to learn yours. Quit running around with your grandmother's ring talking about who you love and who you don't love. Decide as a man who you love, commit to that woman, and develop a real relationship. <laughs> I want better from all three of you. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. Court is adjourned.